<sighs> Bye, see you. Pretty good right now. Good afternoon and evening, everyone. This is Tessa Spade today. Welcome to Friday. It's August 16th, 2024. And big 229. We're still holding straw, which is really, really good. And it's also the last day that you get that pinkish color for the, uh... The, um... The daily sobriety counter. So, doing really, really good. I'm happy about that. I went to a simple island world because, um... To be completely honest, back in my IMPU days, I was always known for being on islands by myself because that was just something I enjoyed doing. Which is funny because IRL, I prefer snow. IRL, I really do prefer. Like, a really snowy... I like snowy mountains this IRL, but... Uh, I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that, um... Well... I'm a valley girl. I grew up in the California Valley my whole life. And we seldom ever went to the mountains, so seeing snow was really rare for me as a child. Well, for us, both Terry and myself, you, you, you get the idea. But we seldom ever saw snow. We, we went to the beach far more often than we did go to the mountains. Probably because uh, Tara's father was, just wasn't very fond of snow or something. But then again, when uh, Tara turned about 18, 20 years old, is when his dad admitted that he hates stamping. Which is unfortunate because Tara loved camping. Now he doesn't get to, so now he doesn't care about it anymore. Probably because it's all the hassle. Although, when I think about it, I would love to go camping again sometime if I could. So long as I have a fishing license, I would love to go camping. How about you? Do you guys uh, write in the comments down below if you like camping? Like, if you do, what do you like doing most while you're camping? See, the last time Pero went camping was his 18th birthday. I remember that one. And that, um... Yeah, Tara's 18th birthday, every, uh, there was a family reunion where they all went camping. And his entire family had to admit they forgot his birthday. That was his 18th birthday. But that's all in the past. I mean, think of it. You can really think about it. That was... That was over 18... That was 18 years ago. Now, if it was on the 3rd, it would be 18 years ago on the dot. But yeah, that was 18 years ago. My goodness, time really does fly. Although... Yeah. Right, thing for it, though. I'd say once Terra turned about... 21, 22 years old is when, you know, the pace of everything started speeding up. But things really sped up after we hit 30. Being in our 30s pound just goes by really, really fast. This year does not feel like it's been eight months. It feels like it's been maybe like four. And the perception of time, I guess, really shrinks the older you get. It makes me worry where it's going to be like in my 40s and 50s. And yes, I, I, I'm confident. I'll reach my 40s and 50s, although I do have some concerns. As, um... Tara's mother... died before she was even 50 to cancer. In 2012. So it does leave some concern for me that I know for a fact that genetically on my mother's or on Tara's side of the family... Cancer is very much genetically on his mother's side. Where his mother died from cancer. His grandmother died from cancer. Different cancer, though. Uh, like, his mother was breast cancer, his grandmother was pancreatic cancer, and he knows his great-grandmother also had cancer, but she survived from it because I guess back then cancer wasn't as bad, I don't know. And she lived to be really old, too. She passed away... I don't remember when she passed away, because she moved to South Carolina at that time. She passed away, I want to say she was like 95, 96, is where I want to say. So she lived for a very long time, even after having had cancer, I think in her 40s, so... Yeah, she, she really lasted. But unfortunately, with his mother and grandmother, they died of cancer. And it's unfortunate, because uh, Tara's mother was freaking awesome. 
Lilia barely got to know her. And they got along really, really well. Which was awesome. Of course, um... Lilia's first major memory... Uh, in person meeting Tara's mom was... Lilia was, um, very sick from drinking too much on Tara's brother's birthday. And the first thing she remembers is Tara's mom walking into the room and be like, Please, eat this. It's a grilled cheese sandwich. You'll feel better. That was her first IRL memory of Tara's mother. It was... It was nice. It was... It was very pleasant. But... The first memories Lilia has of Tara's mom was actually further back because, as you know, Tara and Lilia met playing Animal Crossing City Fall. Well, Lilia also played with Tara's mother playing Animal Crossing because that was Tara's and his mother's favorite pastime when not watching, uh, they used to watch the show Eureka on sci-fi, but when they weren't watching Eureka they'd play Animal Crossing City Fall just to have fun and all the big spots for the fossils they called Diggy Bigs. Mm -hmm. But yes, they would get on Wee's feet, and they'd get on, they'd get on with Lilia. This was in 2009, and early, and a little bit of 2010, just a little bit, now. Because, um, it was 2010, I want to say it was around October 2010. There's one Terra moved to, um, move out, kind of thing. Disability kind of stuff, you know how it goes. It's very difficult to move places, so you have to find somewhere horrible. But, yeah, they, they, they just spent hours upon hours just playing Animal Crossing City Fall. In all actuality, I saw someone recently did a, uh, a two-hour video on YouTube, and they were playing Animal Crossing City Fall, and I'm like, you are freaking lucky. I want to be playing Animal Crossing City Fall, because that was my favorite one. And, of course, it was also the best one in terms of story, because it actually had a story. Wait. New Leaf, the, the star's mostly just trying to get the town to five stars and getting cake made us do his little music stuff and, you know, building it up, but it's no, like, underlying story where you interact with the villagers. That's the main thing about New Leaf that I do not like. Or not New Leaf, uh, New Horizons. Sorry, it's New Horizons, the new one on the Switch. Or new er, I mean, it's four years old now. But, uh, what I didn't like is that all of the, all of the villagers are just so... bucky clutter. They don't really... have the same level of interaction where the best one in terms of, you know, player to villager interaction, the best one, I would argue, was the first one. Animal Forest or just Animal Crossing on the GameCube. Or if you're in Japan, it was on the Nintendo 64. That was the best one because... They were very, very punctual about being being on time with things. They didn't like it when you were late on anything. If they didn't like you, they would move out. Or they would let you know that they did not like you. And it was actually a little harder to, to get them to be friendly -er, I guess. But, you know, or Tara and myself, we do have an issue. Like, it was the best one, but we also are not, even in Animal Crossing, we're not the most soulful of people. We pull, we get into New Horizons and all we do is we just get things done. We don't home decorate. We just, we, we fish, we catch bugs, we go diving, we make money. And we cook a few things, so that's mostly what we do. I mean, if you look at it, our museum has been complete for... With the, I got this Nintendo, the Nintendo Switches, I got the Animal Crossing edition because hello, Animal Crossing, we need that. But, um, we have had the Island of Roll Paul. I know, PSOT reference. Um, we had our island. We've never changed it, but I want to say we got that Switch two years ago. Is how long we've had that one, I think. And we completed the museum in less than a year. But that's because I put, we put ours on the we put ours on the uh, southern hemisphere, while Lilia's island is on the northern hemisphere. That way, if we ever needed to do things together, you know, back and forth, we could just go to each other's islands. It was really easy, and it made everything really, really fast. So 
part we see has been just done. And I can tell you, even with day skipping, it took 36 hours of straight work to get Blue Roses. It took 36 hours non-stop. Tara was exhausted. He was exhausted. I mean, it makes sense if you're up from like in the morning and all the way into the next evening doing nothing but, you know, working on making blue roses because Lily wanted blue roses in her island. At her, she was really angry that Tara stayed up all night. But then when she saw the blue roses and Tara said, hey, I've got some blue roses for you, she's like, you are forgiven. And it was a good day. But... It, I'm thinking on it though. I would love to play the original Animal Crossing again, so I'm really hoping when they do the virtual GameCube, if they do that on Nintendo Online Plus, if they put GameCube stuff on there, please, 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 put Animal Crossing. Just play all Animal Crossing, put that on your virtual, because that was the best one. But then another one we really want to play again is just City Fall, because this, the, the story arc that you've been slowly unlocked by per by completing certain tasks and interacting with the right people on the right days. It was a story arc between the, uh, the Abel sisters, like, uh, Mabel, Sable, and the other one. I'm trying to remember. It, it, it eludes me, but it's a story arc between the Abel sisters and even other major villagers like Tom Nook gets involved, Blathers gets involved, Oh, I think Popper got involved too. I happen to have Copper in there. And and, and, and again, City Folk was a really good one because you had you could get your unbreakable and your, your special shovels, your special axes and stuff like that. And like the axe you had to get it by throwing your axe into a wishing well. And you had to hope that she that she was nice and stuff like that. And then of course the silver shovel you can only get by getting into um Rustetti's little um Little office place inside the, the main city. It was so much fun, and I really do miss that function. Is I, I really do feel like New Horizons just missing a whole bunch of things. Like they just wrapped tons and tons of content or New Horizons just to focus on just the crafting. And even then, there's not a whole lot of stuff like this crafting and recipes. But in terms of furniture. It, it feels like they're in as the smallest amount of furniture since the first game. Like, since after the first game, the amount of furniture you get is lower than all the other games. And it's weird. I also miss the Golden Series, like being able to customize your house with the Gold Series if you did, like, real- Oh, I'm trying to remember, I think that one you needed to, um... Get really high score with Happy Home. But yeah, being able to, all those things, it was so much fun, and I do, I do miss City Fall. It, it was, it was my favorite one. Of course, it, it knew we on the 3DS is when they introduced diving, but honestly, I prefer the, I do prefer the diving in New Horizons compared to, oh dear, I am losing tracking a little bit. I, I do prefer the diving in New Horizons because it's just so much more. The diving, obviously, they added more and more and more. But one function I thought was fun with the new leaf is that if it was cold out and you were in the water long enough, you get out. When you get out of the water, you start shivering. But if you stayed still too long in the water, there was a high likelihood that you would get stung by jellyfish. So, so that function was a little bit more fun. It's not like you'd like suffer or anything. You just, you know, Swerve around in the water until you're okay. Ah, oh, those were fun times. Lily and I had so much fun with Paris' mother. It was so fun. But oh, right. Before, before we get going, I we we, we asked Buttercup. She didn't say there was anything you know noteworthy for school. So nothing really there. They're home. They they had a huge fruit salad. And we're just, we're just getting ready to start making supper here pretty soon, so... I, I don't have a whole lot I can talk about other than reminiscing on old games. Old games, just there was more... 
But the, the big difference you can tell with old games compared to newer games is that in the older games there was a lot more passion than the developers in making those titles. Now it's obviously it's much more oh, it's well it's gotten more and more corporatized ever since the resurgence in the in the late eighties. Uh, that, that's enough of that. That's a whole different topic. We don't need to go on that because I've been rambling this entire time. Sorry. But I hope everyone is enjoying their Friday because, my goodness, it is a torture out. It, it is, it is very, very hot outside right now. Like, it's, it's only 106 a day, but it feels like 112. You step outside and that sun just hurting. I knew how long it was ours, a man or something. It is not good. And tomorrow and Sunday are going to be just, oh, so much worse. So, we're staying inside today. We're staying inside this weekend. We are, we are not going anywhere. But anyway, again, I hope you enjoy the rest of your Friday. This is Tessa Spade on your Friday, August 16th, 2024. Day 229. We will see all of you tomorrow on Saturday. So long, everyone. Oh, I wish I could go for a dip in that. Oh, man. Oh, that's why I'm bow legged, because my trackers slipped on my feet. Sorry.